Hello, my name is Rossella and today I'm going to teach you how to identify the key chord from any key signature with either sharps or flats. I will also tell you how to find the key signature of any key chord or without needing to know the circle of fifths. If you have watched my previous videos, you should know what a key signature is and why it is important. You should have also learned one of the most useful things in music, the order of sharps and flats. If you want to refresh your memory, click here now. And if you want to ditch the circle of fifths forever, click here now or look for the direct link of my video in the description below. Now, let's find out about key chords and key signatures. To identify the key chord from a key signature, we need to remember two small rules. One for the sharps and one for the flats. If we have a key signature with sharps, we take the last one and raise it up by a semitone. And that is the major key. For example, if we have four sharps, the last sharp is Re, D. A semitone up from Re sharp is Mi. So the major key would be E. Let's make another example. If we have six sharps, the last one in our key signature is Mi sharp. Plus one semitone equals Fa sharp. The key chord is F sharp major. That's all. If we have flats in our key signature, we shall consider the penultimate or one before last. And that would be our major key chord. For example, in this key signature with five flats, the penultimate one in our list is Re flat, D flat. So take that note and add the word major. D flat major. Let's have another example. Seven flats. The penultimate one is Do flat. So our key chord is C flat major. To find the key chord from the key signature, we take the last sharp, raise it up by a semitone, and that is our tonic. If we have flats, we take the penultimate flat and that is our tonic. Now let's go in reverse. From the key chord we want to know the number of sharps and flats included in the key signature. Ready? Let's go! As I said in my previous video, the order of the sharps and flats in a key signature is always the same. Fa, Do, Sol, Re, La, Mi, Si. Si, mi, la, re, sol, do, fa. By letter name, they would be fun colouring gargantic drawings after eating breakfast. Big elephants ate dinosaurs, goat cheese, figs. If we have the key chord, and we need to identify the key signature. Take the name of the chord, that would be our tonic, go down a semitone, and that note is the last sharp of our key signature. Then we write or count the sharps in order until we find ours. For example, 
If we want to know how many sharps A major has, we go down a semitone and we find G sharp. This will be our last sharp in the key signature. So we keep writing until we have G. Fa, Do, Sol. A major has three sharps. Let's have another example. If we want to know how many sharps B major has, we take this as our tonic, we go down a semitone and find our last sharp, La. Then we add the sharps in order until we reach La. Fa, Do, Sol, Re. B major has five sharps. Easy? The name of the chord is our tonic and that is also our penultimate flat in the key signature. So to find the key signature we would write the flats in order until we reach our note and then we add another flat at the end. For example, in A flat major, A flat is our tonic, but it's also the penultimate flat in our key signature. So this flat is the flat before the last. So we write the key signature up to La, Si, Mi, La, and we add another flat afterwards, Re. So A flat major has four flats. Let's have another example. G flat major. The tonic is G flat. And this is also our penultimate flat. G flat. So we write the flats in order until we get to Sol. Si, Mi, La, Re, Sol, and then we add another one, Do. To know the key signature from the key chord, we take the main note of the chord as our tonic. Then if we have sharps, we go down by a semitone and we find the last sharp of our key signature. Then we write the sharps in order until we get to our note. If there are flats, our tonic would be the flat before the last one. So we would write the flats in order until we reach our tonic and then we add another flat. I hope this video helped you understand the mathematical operation that we can do to identify any key chord and key signature with sharps and flats. From now on, when you see somebody struggling to remember the circle of fifths, tell them that they're wasting their time and send them to me. Thank you for sharing and liking this video. Subscribe to my channel to become a theory virtuoso. Ciao!